Welcome back everyone. Fall is almost here and time to think about how to battle those allergies. That just may be one of the questions you have for Dr. Jeffrey White. He is our pharmacist from Moore and King Drugs and we're so glad to have him here. We should say he is also Tennessee Pharmacist of the Year and congratulations oh, once you. again to you Jeffrey. Thank you. Hey, real quickly, we talked about headaches. This is some uh, serious information that's come down about Excedrin medication. What are we talking about here, Jeffrey? All right, there's some um, uh, new literature that's been that's come out and uh, concerning migraine headaches and stuff like that and a lot of people they found that they've been able to get some relief uh, from mild forms of migraine headaches using the formulation of Excedrin, especially Excedrin products that's over the counter because it contains acetaminophen and some caffeine and some uh, aspirin in it also. And that is over the counter, is that yeah, correct? You can buy Excedrin without a prescription over the counter and they found that there's been some uh, mention in the literature that people have been able to get some relief from some forms of uh, migraine therapy. All uh, right. Good, that's good one of the new things that's out. Dr. Jeffrey White is our guest in Ottawa. You're first on. Good morning to you. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Um, I go to school, and um, I get migraine headaches when um, there's no sound, because I'm used to a lot of sound. And hmm. first I get ringing in my ears, and then I get the migraine headache. Is there anything I can do when I'm at school? Okay, it sounds like a young person here. Yeah. Uh, what can you advise for this for this person? Well, normally what happens is that uh, normally when people have a migraine headache, they get what they call an aura. An aura can either be uh, either uh, visual, where lights kind of hurt their eyes and stuff like that, or visual. And most times, one of the therapies they have you to do is, you know, you normally need to uh, go into a room or something like that and get into a quiet environment where there's no lights and as little sound as possible. What you might have to do is uh, maybe if you if it's a long-term problem or a particular problem at school, is maybe talk it to your counselors or something like that and maybe talk with the administration and see if there's a possibility of you being able to, to have such an environment or something like that. They found it most times that if you go into a room that's dark, or uh, if you go into a room that with no sound and stuff like that, that'll kind of somewhat lessen the focal aura. Yeah, tough of that. situation for that young person. Yes, I imagine I've never that. had a migraine, but I hear they're very painful. Uh, I can, uh, yeah, I, I understand it also. All right, hey, good luck to you, uh, student from Ottawa. Hey, Chattanooga, good morning. You're on with Dr. White. Good morning. Yes, your question, please. Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to uh, ask the pharmacist uh, if he thinks that uh, vitamins will eventually be regulated by the FDA. Okay, Dr. Okay. White? Uh, I, don't, I assume that probably what you're talking about, the vitamin industry is somewhat to be regulated by the FDA. There's some controversy uh, there concerning some products that are basically not prescription products that are what the FDA cons considers like they're food supplements. And a food supplement is basically what happens is that it doesn't have, it makes no medical claim whatsoever. So we can't say like if you take this particular vitamin, it'll make you live younger, this particular vitamin lessens your chance of catching cancer and stuff like that. What happens is those particular items, as long as they're not uh, touted as a medical entity, there's some controversy in it with the FDA, the way that those things are regulated. So there is uh, some push on both sides of that uh, issue as far as if those things should be regulated, like if, what's the minimum daily requirement, say, for a vitamin C or a vitamin E. So it's an ongoing discussion. So it's an ongoing going discussion and stuff like that. So that's um, still the, the, the the thing is still out on there. If this gentleman calls you, can you send some information, some sure. updated information yeah, yeah, from we, the FDA? Yeah, we've seen a lot. We can see a lot Good. of updated information from the FDA. Chattanooga, I will give you his number in a moment. He gets there at 8 o'clock. Give him a call and he'll send you the information. Hold on, Calhoun and Rossville. We're going to get to you in just a minute with pharmacist Dr. Jeffrey White. We're glad you're watching on this Friday morning. and Good morning.